Okay, so we're going to start on page 9, and today we're going to be learning about least common multiples. So multiples of numbers are larger than the number. It's like the number is being multiplied. So we're going to do letter E. We want to find the least common multiple of 2 and 6. So we're going to do it up here in our work zone. So E, we want to find the least common multiple of 2 and 6. So to help you remember that it's a multiple, so it's like multiplying the number, I'm going to use a big M to find our multiples. And on the top of this part of the M, I'm going to put this 2, and on top of this part of the M, I'm going to put the 6. So we're going to write the multiples of 2 along the left side of the M. So you're going to multiply the 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, so multiples go on forever. So I'm just gonna stop here for now and see if we could find a least common multiple between these two numbers. So now I'm gonna do some multiples of six. So six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. I'm gonna stop there for now. So now we wanna find a multiple that they have in common, but that is the least. So the smallest multiple that they have in common between two and six. So they actually both have 6 as a multiple. They also have 12 as a multiple, but that's not their least multiple. So the least common multiple between 2 and 6 is 6. So we're going to go down and write 6 on our answer line. Okay, we're going to do letter F. Find the least common multiple of 4, 5, and 10. So let's go back up. So we want to do... Least common multiple of 4, 5, and 10. So I'm going to draw my M again. And I'm going to do 4 here, 5 here, and 10 here. So I'm going to start with 4, and we're going to multiply it. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. I'm going to stop there for now. Now let's do 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 10 would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, now we want to stop and look for the least common multiple. So the least common multiple between the three numbers is 20. So the least common multiple between 4, 5, and 10 is 20. So I'm going to write 20 on the line. So for letter G, we're going to find the least common multiple of 3, 5, and 7. I'm going to show you a different method that you can use to find the least common multiple. So something else that you can do is only find the multiple of the largest number. And as you're finding the multiples of the largest number, check each multiple to see if the other two numbers also go into that number. The first number that you find that all three numbers can go into would be your least common multiple. So I'm just gonna find the multiples of seven for now. So seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. So I'm going to stop there for now. So now let's check each multiple and see if 3 and 5 go into them. So 14, 3 and 5 do not both go into 14. They don't both go into 21. 3 does, but 5 doesn't. They don't both go into 28. 3 and 5 don't both go into 35. 5 does, but 3 doesn't. They don't both go into 42. They don't both go into 49. They don't both go into 56 or 63. So we're going to have to keep finding more multiples of 7. So you could check if 3 and 5 go into these numbers by dividing each number by 3 and then divide the number by 5. Okay, so let's continue our multiples of 7. So we're going to have 70, 77, 84, 91, 98, 105, 112, 119. Okay, so now let's check these. 
3 and 5 don't both go into 70. I know 3 definitely doesn't. 3 and 5 don't both go into 77. Same thing, they don't both go into 84, 91, 98. Let's check 105. So 105 divided by 3 is 35. So 3 does go into 105. And 105 divided by 5 is 21. So 5 does go into 105 also. And we know 7 goes into it because 105 is a multiple of 7. So this is the first number that we found that 3, 5, and 7 all go into. So that's going to be our least common multiple. So we could stop there. So that's the first number. That's the first multiple of 7 that all three numbers go into. So that's going to be the least common multiple.